Happy hot girl, fit girl, hot fit girl summer. Yeah, okay, anyways, I'm gonna cut to the chase. I know it's like the end of summer, but I've had this idea for the longest time and it's still, it could be hot fit girl fall, hot fit girl winter. It doesn't matter. For me, hot girl summer really just means being happy and confident in what you are, whether you're single or not. I'm single, but it's fine. We're not gonna talk about that. So I just wanna show you guys through like my glow up routine, what I do to help myself feel happy and confident each day. And yeah, let's just get started. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the first and only day, hot fit girl summer. It's 7.30. I like to start my days early because I have, I have workouts and it gets hot later. So I try to get that out of the way. And also just waking up early just helps me have a great start to the day. 7.15 to 7.30 is when I usually wake up. I look like this, puffy eyes and all. And then my voice sounds like this, but it's fine. I'm used to it, I embraced it. But yeah, I'm just getting ready for my workout and then I'll show you guys my outfit. Okay, I already did my hair and I usually, my hair's like really heavy and kind of thick. So I usually do anywhere from like three to four rubber bands. Sometimes I put in a bun, but not today. Okay, sunscreen, I use a super goop one. I love this one. It's super good for like oily to combination skin and I just feel protected and I don't look oily. It's like a matte. Anyways, I put that all over my face. And sunscreen is super important, especially if you're gonna be in the sun more than 20 minutes, so. Next, body sunscreen, I use Sunbum. Love the way it smells and this SPS 50. I just put this on my arms and my legs and my neck because again, I'm gonna be in the sun for around like an hour or so. So I really do need to be protected because I don't wanna get burned like I did at the beach. Okay, I just finished my seven mile easy run. So after you finish your cardio, we're gonna do some core, some push-ups, and also some glute activation. So let's go. shower i actually use this brow uh, brow brush no i use this dry brush by echo tools and i just use this all over my body it exfoliates and even helped me with my chest acne it helped get rid of that so i highly recommend you doing this before you shower now time for the shower okay now that i'm all showered and cleaned and no longer sticking sweaty i'm going to show you guys my morning skincare kind of and then also like a get ready like what i put for makeup so first um i put on my toner which is my prescribed thing and then i go in with the ordinary face cream i really like this one then i go in with my honest beauty eye cream this one I only use in the morning that way I look more awake and just you know nourished that's the word and then I go in with the type a deodorant this one's my favorite one especially for athletes this is super strong and really helps you stay like not smelling so and it also doesn't have like aluminum or any of the bad stuff i got this one at target so i put that under my arms i already did that off camera because uh yeah i don't want to show you guys okay so i'm gonna go eat breakfast and then i'm gonna come back and then i'm gonna be dressed and then show you guys my makeup routines help me feel confident and happy every single day i forgot to say this is the lotion that i put on in the morning and the night i love it super good for you as all clean ingredients and it smells amazing as well had a nice feeling breakfast now it's time to get this I mean, I'm already pretty. You know what? You need to be more confident. I am pretty and I know it. And I, that's not me being cocky or self-conceited. It's me just being confident. Just tell yourself in the mirror. Anyways, so the mascara that I use is the Lash Paradise. I've tried like cleaner versions of mascaras too, but they don't, they don't really hold up to this one. So this one, and then I also use well, the Milk clear gel which is my new favorite one it's so amazing and it's not even that expensive and it's also clear and this is a kush uh, clear brow gel these things tempt me like imagine one day you just i'm just kidding don't do that mm, the difference already i don't get how people let 
other people do it on them. I don't have that much trust in people. Like they're just like, come here. All right, I do this before I go like all over. I do this before my mascara just because. And look at how cute the little spoolie is. I don't know if that's the right word, whatever. Perfect, especially if you have thick brows, this really does an amazing job because it holds your hairs really strongly. When I done, the other eyes needs to be done. I like how I said um, I'd be dressed by now, but I realized that I had to film a TikTok with my yoga pants, like styling in different ways. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll stay in my robe. Now I'm gonna move on to lips. I use the Tower 28 Lip Jelly in Clear. This was my favorite one because it's like a lip gloss and lip oil at the same time, and it nourishes your lips. So you're looking shiny on your lips, you're looking glossy, you're looking good, and your lips are getting nourished. Boom. Yep, I'm a singer too, guys. My hair is kind of like 80% dry. I usually leave it 80% dry and I put stuff in my hair I really don't want to get it right now. And then I go in with this and that way it straightens it, well, it styles it for me and it dries the rest. So this takes me like literally five minutes. Guys, with my robe and with my hair done like this, I feel like a mom in the South Hamptons of New York. I've never been there, but you know the movies. Let's get dressed. I'm dressed. And, okay, does anyone else feel sick when they drink like coffee? Like it's, it hits me some days. Some days I can drink it, I'm fine. But other days I don't, oh, I feel like I'm a, mm -hmm. I don't know truly how Emma Chamberlain drinks that much caffeine in a day. Like I, I would, I probably would end up not being okay. Anyways, you're also probably thinking with my outfit, Olivia, you're wearing leggings. How is that thick girl summer? Hot thick girl summer. For me personally, it makes me feel confident and also they're really comfy. So I can do like squats, I can just like lounge around in my house. Also the AC is on. But if I were to go outside, I probably, I'd probably wear this if I'm going to the supermarket or to somewhere where I'm gonna be indoors. If I'm gonna be spending time outdoors and it's 93 degrees outside, I will not be wearing leggings. But again, it all goes back to like, what makes you feel happy, what makes you feel confident. And that's why I love fashion so much because there's so many things that can help you feel that way. But yeah, this is today's outfit. I'm also gonna film a TikTok with this outfit. So um, yeah. Okay, also my vlog, this vlog it jumps back and forth in time. You're gonna see my eyebrows different from how they are now or my hair different. It's because it's a whole shenanigans. But now we're gonna get my nails. I'm gonna do my nails. That's the final step of the hot girl summer. So this is them now. Should I do a transition? Okay, ready? Boom. This is my new nail color. I decided to go with the darker one only because it's easier to paint and it's faster, so. Okay, so I'm on my way to get my eyebrows done. I just wanted to do a quick before. You can't really like tell before and then. And after, I got them done. It was super quick, love it. Thick Girl Summer is on its way. I got my hair cut. It looks so good and I love it because it's super light. So now when I go running, it's gonna be a lot nicer to run with, but yeah. Yes, the Fit Girl Summer video is over, but it doesn't mean you, your Fit Girl Summer, your Fit Hot Girl Summer. This, I don't even know what I'm gonna title this video, but the whole point is I hope you're more confident and more happy in yourself. And you just, you, you tackle each day. So I definitely feel a lot happier now that I've been doing this routine. It's been around like the beginning of January since I started implementing these things in my life, like waking up early, journaling more, and just taking more care of myself, like the things I'm eating, and also just taking breaks is really important. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this Fit Girl Hot Girl Summer video. And if you have any other tips that you find joy in your life, feel free to comment that down below because I'm always so curious on how close other people's like daily lives are and also how different they are, but they all lead to the same result, which is confidence and happiness. So just remember, take care of yourself first and then everything else will just file on in. Okay, so I don't know if I've said this one already, but check on yourself as much as you check in on Instagram. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.